what are the divine signs? Divine signs are actually a spiritual way of dealing with physical reality every single minute of the day. Because when we incarnate into the physical body and into the physical world, we are in an, uh, we are struck, I guess, by amnesia because of the low vibration here. We are uh, desensitized, or if we have an amnesia about the spiritual world, we just don't remember it. So all we know is the physical reality. And our goal is to remember about spiritual reality and get back to God. So how we do it, and we have to walk the path of life that is designed for us by us in a different place. But how do we do it? Because we don't remember, unfortunately. We don't come into this. We're not born with a, a piece of paper in our hands that explains all what we have to do in this life, right? That would be great, but it's not happening. So we have to follow the system of communication. Do you see I'm repeating myself to make a strong point? We do have it. It's important because it's very easy to get lost and just completely uh, forget your path. But then life will be dark and heavy and it will be a lot of suffering because and it's not necessary because you don't need to go and stray off the path. Why would you need to do it? But the divine guidance signs will lead you to on the path, help you in every decision. In fact, they want you another, your God self and angels and ascended masters want you to communicate with them at all times because they're here to help. But there is a problem or rather it's a choice. There are two things. One is the divine will and one is the human will. I am sure you know all about it, right? Divine will is what God wants. And God, in my opinion, in my belief system is love, light, power. So even though I might say he only for the sake of tradition, for the sake of maybe making you feel more comfortable. But the truth is God is neither he nor she or both. And it's light, it's love, it's power, it's unconditional love, right? So unconditional love God wants us to communicate with it or him at all times. And that's what divine guidance help us do. And so we stay on the path. We are uh, having a better life more uh, it's it's happier it's lighter because of this science so again my point here in our first lesson is to really make this point very strong that we do need the divine guidance system this is not for amusement i don't use it for amusement i don't say oh wow it's a sign wow how amazing i do like saying it actually right but i use it practically in a practical way because i also i teach spiritual practicality meaning i take spiritual knowledge spiritual skills spiritual everything i have and i apply them all into my physical situations because i don't want to fly out there i don't care about flying out with it out there i i need to make my life easier and i do have spiritual aspirations but the first thing we have to make our life easier more enjoyable and pro more prosperous more everything more that we want more full full of light and so that's why i take spirituality put it into physical and that's how i live my life and how i help others do the same